After we finish the slab and the slab edge, we're now ready to place the structural framing for this um, project. So let's go to our plan grid joins and let's go to page S2.1. So this is the first section, unit A, on framing plane. And let's pay attention to a couple of different places. First thing is we have to understand this building actually have a slope roof. So the framing actually have various uh, dual sparing elevations. If you take a look at okay this corner here, and on grid line A, you'll have dual sparing 16-4, okay, between column line um, 1 through 5. And uh, at grid line B, you have the dual sparing 15-6, then grid line C, you have dual sparing 14-8, okay. And then you move to the next page, which will be the middle section. Here, things get a little bit more complicated because obviously the drawer sparing here is going to be changed to 16 foot 9 inches, which is 5 inch above the uh, drawer sparing um, on the A units and the C unit. Okay, so, and also same uh, 5 inch apply here at grid line B. The drawer sparing is actually no longer 15 6, but now instead it's 15 11. And here, most obvious on the left side, which is the unit A, you have 14 8, but here you have 15 1, which is also 5 inches above. Okay? And then in, <clears throat> when it comes to actually the framing um, component, we have two major components going to be used for framing purposes here. Uh, first, we have the major horizontal structural members, which is called gutters. You have 32 G series gutters and uh, different sizes, including the 36 size. And if you go to the next page, you will have some. Uh, 40, uh, 40 G uh, series gutters as well. The second type of uh, structural framing component are actually called joists, and uh, the major joists we use in this project is that actually 22 K, uh, the K series joists, which including 22 K7 and uh, some of smaller members, uh, according, you know, across here and 10 K1, etc. And uh, you might notice some of the girders actually, uh, some of joists actually named differently, such as the KCS. Uh, three series of joists. We're gonna treat them all as the 22K7 because we cannot find the 22KCS three series good uh, joists in our uh, Revit library. So we're gonna treat them all as 22K7 anyway. Okay. There's another place here which is kind of unique is in the middle section. Okay. Especially this note here. You'll notice, instead of using the 22K7, they do actually made some change here. They're going to use wide flange uh, beam W1835 as the joists, okay? So this is the unique space, um, unique, unique places here. So pay attention to this, okay? Joists actually uh, go ahead, the girder, uh, the joists actually go stop right there, okay? And here, same thing, W, wide flange, 1835. On this side, okay, what's interesting is the joints make mistake here again. So on this particular sheets here, S2.2, then designate this joist to be white flange 1835, here same pan, but, okay, on the previous join, they actually placed 22K7, which now supposed to be the case. So we identify this as a mistake because the columns is even missing here. They don't even designate the columns here. So we're going to follow whatever specified here because this one is the correct join. You have the column in place and you will have the wide flange, um, you know, structural um, joist, uh, structural beam here. So we're going to treat this side as exactly the same with this side and ignore what's been set here. Okay, so that's a mistake there. All right. So, what I'm going to do is, we're going to first place those gutters, because gutters will be in place first, then you place the joists. The gutters will be used to support the gutters, okay? Uh, support the joists, that's why uh, we follow those sequence. So, let's go back to our um, model, and uh, we need to go to our first joist bearing, um, you know, height, which is at grid line A, we go to 03 joist bearing 16.4, okay? And uh, students may ask, uh, what if I do not have the drawer sparing 16.9, which is in the middle section between grid lines 5 and the 8? Uh, well, we have a solution, and we're going to actually mention that solution in just a minute. So go ahead and let's go to our structural um, tab here, and we'll start with the uh, the boom. Um, and uh, what's going to happen is you do not have the 
on gooders you need loaded yet so we need to actually click on the load family to load the gooders so go ahead and click on load family and then let's go to the structural framing folder and it's gonna be a steel structure framing and uh, we're gonna load okay the G series George gooder and the size we need is actually 32 36 hold your control key down to select multiple families at the same time so load those okay three times and uh, you can also go ahead load your family with the um, for the drawers as well so let's go ahead click on the load family and um, let's go to the structure framing component um, folder again and still again but this time let's load the k series drawers uh, you have two options here let's select the k series um, bar drawers angle wave click on open and we need 14k1 and 22k7 and there's another one is actually 10k1 okay so three different types of drawers 10k1 14k1 as well as 22k7 okay again we do not have the 22kcs3 so we're going to use 22k7 anyway okay now let's go ahead and place the gooders we're starting with the 32g as you see from the um, join here so it's going to be 32g 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 and then 36g okay so we'll stop right here at a grid line 5 because once you pass grid line 5 the elevation of the girders will be changed to the Jorsperian uh, 16 and 9 instead of 16 4 so that's where we're going to introduce a concept which is called a 3D snapping so go back here so before we get started placing the girders let's try something okay look let's take a look at this liminal bar here this only sh show up sometimes when you're actually placing some um, um, certain commands here this is called the optional toolbar because it's optional so what you can do is actually um, add some more options when you're actually trying to place certain components in this case let's check the chain that will allow you to draw the girders continuously okay so we're gonna check the chain but we did not check 3d snapping yet and we will explain that why that's the case so starting from here okay yes now we're gonna start with a1 even though we do not have a column here but we do have a masonry wall here which will become the support for your gutter so go ahead and place your first gutter between a1 and a2 go all the way to its center okay so then keep drawing to three okay and uh, between three and four okay you will see it's also 32 but then it's 36 just keep that in mind the size does change 32 now okay now in order to change your size as you see here because we are placing those gutters continuously and uh, you will not be able to ch uh, use the top select selector to change the size what you have to do is hit your escape key only once okay that will temporarily allow you to jump out the um, placing the gutter command that will allow you to change the size to 36 G then you can go back okay to placing the gutters here okay and uh, that will be the first okay couple sections of gutters you have oh, 32 G 32 G 32 G and 36 G now between 5 and 8 we already understand that the drawer sparing is going to be higher okay in this case you really need to use something called the 3d snapping okay and besides what you have to pay attention to is actually the size of the gutters changed again so it's actually become 32 G again then 40 then 32 G again okay so why are we actually using the 3d snapping is 3d slapping allow you to snap to a stretch component okay? even you are at level 16.4 you actually goes all the way to the top of the structural columns in this case our structural column at um, a5 is actually 16 foot 90 inches tall so give an example that he, let's click on the skip key once and uh, let's go ahead and select 32 G and this time let's turn on the 3d snapping okay immediately after you turn on 3d snapping you'll notice okay the cursor 
Now you click on the center of the uh, column. That uh, pink triangle now turns into a pink circle. That tells you that at this moment we are in the 3D snapping mode. So if you click on that and move to the next section, and again, okay, even you are using the chain command because you are using 3D snapping, it will actually allow you to select a different type of gutter um, every single time. So again, you notice that the pink triangle become pink circle. Okay, come here. So you are overriding your draw sparing at this moment because now if you look at your project browser, you are still at a 16.4, but your drawers, the gutters have been placed is actually at a 16.9 because they are placed at the top of the column, which is a 69. Okay. So again, change its size to 32 and go ahead and click on that green, uh, that little pink circle right there and uh, finish up here. Okay. Now between eight, once you pass eight, okay, the the girder is going to drop to 16.4. So we have to uncheck 3D snapping, okay? Because we don't want to have a slope um, about those girders. So then let's take a look at the next framing, and you will see we have 36, 32, 40, and uh, 36. So that's going to choose 36. And um, now, because you do not have 3D snapping anymore, and uh, your Cursor is going to be now a uh, pink triangle again. So click on that. Okay. Okay, the next one is going to be 32, and then 40, and then 36. Okay, so now you need to use hit your skip key once and change its type to 32G. Okay, pink triangle instead of circle. All right. Then hit a skip key once again, change its size to 40. Okay. All right. So, the skip key again, and the last one will be 36G. Then, and add A12. Okay. So that concludes the um, grid line gutters for the first grid line A. So if you hit escape key twice, or oh, now I'll click on the modify key, then you're done with the first uh, grid line gutters. So take a look at the 3D view. Especially pay attention to the middle section, as you see here, okay? So this is going to be 16.9, okay? Because that's where the column top is going to be. So as you see here, it will be nicely aligned with the top of their columns for the uh, three sections of gutters here. As you see there, there's an obvious elevation drop between this gutter and that gutter, okay? So follow the same methodology, you should be able to place all the gutters across the whole building. Make sure you understand you're going to use turn on 3D snapping once you get to the grid line 5, okay? And then turn off the gutter, uh, the 3D snapping once you go over grid line 8, which are those columns. So those four columns 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, those columns actually are 5 inches taller to their adjacent columns, okay? So you, I would enable those for you, uh, label those, as you see here, 15.6, now there's a 15.11, okay? So between this column and that column, you're gonna use 15.6 as the draw sparing, but once you pass this column, you're gonna use 15.11 as your draw sparing heights, but we do not have that level, that's why you turn on 3D snapping to make it happen, okay? So that concludes this video, talking about placing the, um, Gooders. So in the next video, we're going to teach you how to place the drawers, the 22K7 drawers, and using the BIM systems command. I'll see you in the next video.